right. Save the best for before me at some point. <laughs> um, I read a statistic recently that said, and that's what you say when you want to impress a room full of people. I read a statistic recently. And everyone's like, ooh, he's smart. <laughs> la -dee da Here I was thinking Stephen Hawking was dead. <laughs> so I read a statistic recently, and it said that 30% of women have orgasms in their sleep. That doesn't really mean anything. But still, like 30 percent of women have orgasms in their sleep. But I decided to look into that, and what that means is 30 percent of women get more pleasure doing literally nothing than being with me. Like if I was to take 30 percent of the women in this room and was to have sex with you tonight, we would be having sex, and you would be like, "Wish I was sleeping." It's very masculine. <laughs> This is my second time doing stand-up comedy. I like to let people know that, because if I do poorly, they go, oh, it's just his second time. But if I do really well, everyone goes, it's his second time. Um, the interesting thing about doing stand-up comedy here is you have to bring four friends with you. And I've never been more worried than when I saw a message that said, I need to bring four friends. Because what that really means is I need to make four friends. <laughs> Motherfucker, if I had four friends, I wouldn't bring them here because I'm not very good. I would lose my friends. But it all worked out. I hired four prostitutes and they showed up instead. So if anybody wants a disappointing hand job after the show, hit me up. And then after those hand jobs, we can see if the prostitutes have anything to offer. <laughs> First time I did stand-up comedy was in November. The reason there's such a big gap is I keep running out of money for prostitutes. I don't have that kind of income. And I don't look like the kind of guy that can haggle with a pimp. I look like the kind of guy that is lost and in a very bad part of town. Like, I'm like Kanye West meeting with Donald Trump. It's happening, but we don't want it to. <laughs> The worst part is when I tell them, listen, you don't have to do anything, I'll still pay you, you just gotta come to my stand-up comedy show, and they go, oh, can't I just have sex with you? <laughs> so I was driving in my car the other day, and there was a spider on the ceiling of my car, which is the most terrifying thing to see in the world. That's one of those things where you see and go, huh, I'm gonna die today. I'm going 70 miles an hour, and I'm only paying attention to this spider up here. And the whole time I'm thinking, if you come close to me, I swear to Christ, I'm driving us both off of a bridge. <laughs> so I was gonna kill it, but when I got to my location, it like hit up in the fabric of my car, so I thought, well, there's no bugs in my car, so like it's gonna die because I won't have food. And also, it gets hot, and I don't know if spiders get affected by heat, but I assume they do. So, I forget about it, a few days later I come out to my car, and the thought never really processed in my head that there was a possibility that this spider could have been pregnant. Um, I'll give you it. yeah, you're a little ahead of me. The spider was pregnant, so I opened the door to my car to find hundreds of spiders in there. Uh, yeah, an awful thing to see, and I don't have the money to fix that on account of the prostitutes. So I'm now driving around in a carriage of spiders. So, so the next day, uh, that day, I, I had to, I had a date with a girl. I like women, okay? So. <laughs> So I had a date with a girl, I went to pick her up and I really wanted to do it, so I still went. And when I show up, we're walking towards my car, and I say to her, hey, I hope you don't mind the spiders. And she sort of laughs, <laughs> you know, I can talk to strangers. And she's like, <laughs> and so I was like, no, seriously, I hope you don't mind the spiders. And the look on her face at that point, she was thinking, what serial rapist am I about to get in a car with? What murderous service performer has an army of spiders in his car? And so she looks in and she goes, you have spiders in your car? And I go, yeah. And then she goes, why do you have spiders in your car? And I go, they just kind of showed up. And she goes, get rid of them. And I go, they're my friends. <laughs> we jumped ahead a bit. I grew attached to the spiders. It was a long drive. <laughs> Anyways, the date didn't go well. I did not get laid that night. But I know for a fact she didn't get off either because she definitely didn't get to sleep that night. Oh. Thank you guys. I'm an Ethan Coleman. Woo! <laughs>